Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard to put one foot in front of the other. Hi guys, welcome to Talking Sense. My name is Cecilia. If you're new here, I post fragrance related content and would very much appreciate you joining the family by subscribing. Now, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much, obviously, for coming back. I appreciate the support. Today is going to be an unboxing video. So this is a haul, actually. You guys have been asking me to bring you her confession from the House of Latafa. But this, remember, is going to be first impressions. What I'm going to do to try and get my uh, head around these fragrances, I'm going to add some of them on my uh, October tray so that I do get the actual hang of them. I'm going to revisit these fragrances and, of course, give you an in-depth review of each and every one of them. I don't know what's shaking in this, okay? Whether this fragrance comes with a pendant or something, I don't know. So I just hope it's not broken. Okay, so yes, it's not broken. I'm happy. Oh, I see. This is a little window that should have been here. Now it's broken, but it doesn't matter. That is just superficial. What we're mostly interested in is, of course, this particular bottle. Guys, Latafa doesn't joke. They go big or they go home. They really don't care, all right? So I'm going to sniff this one on my skin's uh, thingy and then i'm just gonna tell you like first impressions of my thoughts on her confession this has gone around smelling a lot like uh, blanche betty and what i like about it is i do have blanche betty so i can always bring you the actual fragrance and compare but okay fine just gonna cut to the chase does smell a lot like my blanche betty okay it's creamy it's sweet it's lactonic it's milky it's yummy it's gourmand and it's communicating almost immediately and what i like about it is i think latafa did put some weight on this because it doesn't feel like it needs a lot of maceration it's already communicating but remember as i said this is first impressions so we're not gonna go to town and uh, spend the rest of the day on just one fragrance let me move on to the second one from the house of zamaya this is hawa Hawa, and this is the pink one. So they do have a deeper pink one, and then they have a fuchsia pink one, which is this one, right? So this I purchased because it has gone around smelling a lot like that uh, Delina Rose, Rose. Don't mind the noise. So this to my, uh, just looking at it is gonna be a, is it a flip open or a slide out? Let's see, oh, okay. I think this look, this, yeah, this is, this is beautiful, okay? And if you love the color pink, just based on appearances, this is the fragrance that I'm just gonna say bye. Let me spray it on this test of paper and then I'll tell you my thoughts, all right? Remember, we gotta do full reviews because this is sometimes what happens when we say, let a fragrance macerate, let a fragrance macerate, is we mean pump the first sprays out. The Guys, this to me smells like La Rosé, okay? And I don't have La Rosé in my collection, I have smelt it. A couple of times, especially in the duty free shop. If you watch my vlogs, uh, Le Rose was one fragrance that in my last vlog I think I did spray generously on myself because I wanted to see how it interprets. And I can say I do get some similarities here, uh, but it doesn't throw you off again from that Delina footprint, okay? So there is going to be something that's reminiscent to Delina but a lighter take of it, which feels as though it's like a lighter weight on the incense, a uh, lighter weight on the rhubarb. Yeah, and maybe a lighter weight on the lychee. So maybe the comparisons are coming from the fact that this one is a lighter take, but it's more aligned with the Delina and the exclusive than it is with the La Rose. So I will need to get myself a decant of La Rose for me to give you a 100% confirmation. But yes, if you love Delina, if you love those style of fragrances, you're going to love this. A lot of you guys love the Latafas. And I've had a lot of re requests from you guys wanting my take on Ang Ham. Now, Ang Ham has gone around smelling very similar to Burberry Goddess. Good news is I do have Burberry Goddess and I was one of those people that were wondering as well, you know, why uh, La Tapa through their Maison Alhambra line released Athena, the fragrance that vibes identical to Burberry Goddess only for them to give us another one priced higher and going around as smelling like Burberry Goddess. I have not smelled this one at all. I love the bottle, right? I do love this bottle. Uh, it does give me that telltale well, well, maybe it's because mental shortcut, I know how the Burberry Goddess bottle looks like, all right? So it does kind of look like a better interpretation of the bottle than the Athena one. But then again, we're here for 
the juice oh okay so it's got those musical codes Maima is probably going to have a field day with this i mean she is pursuing her musical career and just having a fragrance with that i'm pretty sure she's going to be drawn to it so at this point in time i hope it's a twist on goddess than the actual thing because i know she loves athena and i told her to stay off my goddess so this doesn't gravitate towards it a lot okay this is not giving me the sweetness as in depth as Athena, right? This is giving me that Burberry Goddess vibe, definitely. But it's not giving me a fragrance as sweet as Athena. And I'm not here to compare it with Athena. It's just that the two companies, you know, they're sister companies, Maison Alhambra and Latafa, sister companies. This to me vibes like a twist. It's very strong, very effervescent. You can smell it. Yeah. Yeah, this is to me more refined, but I'm not take anything away from Athena guys I think it is one of those fragrances that had they known they would have probably bottled them vice versa this is screaming more quality more refinement a better juice smoother loud but not as sweet and I can see the footprints of how this one has been compared to uh, Burberry Goddess. I'm very happy I have it in my collection. I can't wait to see how it turns out. I like how the juice is, you know, you can tell from the juice when the oil concentration is a little bit heavy there. Uh, you can tell by how, you know, the juice in itself, as you shake it like this, it's not watery. So this feels or looks like it's a very oil concentrated in a style of a fragrance but yes it does feel as though if you have a problem with athena's sweetness or burberry goddess sweetness overall you're gonna love this i do get the vanilla almost immediately but it's not like a sweetened a very sweet vanilla it's like a lighter interpretation but lighter not in performance sense you know like how it's working on my senses not lighter like that but as in smoother you know when you say a fragrance this one is smoother this one's denser i don't get a dense fragrance in this i get like a more refined version version of Athena but yes it does feel it's though it does you know vibe like Burberry Goddess so that's it uh, we have ourselves Angham here and then uh, now we move on to Afnan this is Mystic Boutique so this is off Afnan and I've told you guys that I wanted to add more Afnans to my collection because I like the quality of the Afnan fragrances so this is the presentation for Mystique okay they have more in this line I've seen a red one I've seen a transparent one and a pink one i think and now this one and it comes with an afnan card there and it says mystique bouquet encapsulate the spirit of pure refinement and infectious joey de Vero. with the mystique fragrance a sweet floral overdose of enchanting accords of lychee jasmine and broxen uh, offers an enriching uh sensorial experience okay that was quite a mouthful but then it had to be said because this is first impressions love the bottle minimalistic they're not trying to push it uh let's see about the scent itself okay don't like the atomizer it's quite like a but we're not here for the atomizer okay this is too soon for me to say it's at par with valaya but doesn't smell like anything i have in my collection I have Valaya in the oil concentration version of it, not from the company, but from an oil making company. I can see the resemblance, but this is kind of amped up on the florals there. So this is going to appeal to somebody who loves floral tone fragrances, but not piercing florals as in green florals. This is like a floral wrap up of a refined juice. Oh my God, this is lovely. I love this. I feel it might be judged unfairly by packaging it in a green bottle because green can mean a lot in terms of the nose okay if you're into fragrances like myself you will know that if you get a green juice sometimes you need to tiptoe into how green the green is greening okay i'm not getting an intense green here like a serious green off-putting style of a fragrance i am getting a light feminine Fragrance. I like it. I'm, I'm with my mom on the side because we, we're doing videos back to back and she helps me with getting rid of the fragrances and stuff. So she's, yeah, you can smell that, right? Yeah, but even the, the just how the bottle is like, this it, is it's, nice. It's transitioning from like a really like a. Yeah, like it's, blue. it's, uh, what you, fluorescent. Yes. yes. Let, let's not, let's not waste your time. I'm just putting it back in its original packaging. Mystique Boutique from Afnan. Yeah. The next one is not going to wow you that much because it's been about the block for years this has gone around as being cut from the same cloth as that uh, money Prive rouge malakite 
all malachite it depends on how you want to pronounce it uh but it's not at par this is like a rendition of latafa this is how it has gone around i'm not saying that's how it's smelling obviously we hear the first impressions yeah, really speaking i actually it. bought it for the bottle i mean yeah. I, I just said i don't care what it smells like i have tried it before as i said in the shop but i, I when i tried it it didn't disappoint me and i thought mm -hmm. I need to add this I one to my collection. It's going to be sticky. Okay. All right. I think I get what people are not happy about. Okay. Now that it is actually in my position. As I said, I did spray it in a shop before and I smelt it. Okay. I do get a little bit of an oily, like a tar-like nuance that can borderline be off-putting, you know, for some people. But I don't mind. I like it. I'm used to Middle Eastern fragrances, so I can definitely carry this. Okay. So I'm not going to make it more about this because this has been about the block. So it probably is one that you're saying okay see move on and i am certainly going to do that so this opulent red has been added to my collection let's move on to the second from the last okay uh which is from the house of al haramein so we're going to try it it's al haramein janun rose and yes if you're thinking you should have bought janun noir i should have bought janun noir but the website where i bought this fragrance did not have janun noir so this is janun but the rose one okay i just opened it halfway they're not because I'm trying to hide anything, but I didn't want the bottle to fall out. So this is how the Al Haramein Janun Rose looks like. I am going to try by all means to get my hands on my on that Janun Noir because I know a lot of you guys will be saying, you should have bought that one. Oh, this is nice. I've never had an unboxing that has been so captivating to my senses like this one. This is beautiful. It's sweet. It's candy-like. It's effervescent it's sparkly it's girly it's pretty oh my god i love it and i think this one is giving me like a staple amouage you know amouage dna it's giving me what i get from a lot of amouages and i like that i like you know when you use amouage it's not all of them right but there is a traditional thing that you get in amouage it's not amouage honor it's not guidance it's amouage something and uh, there is a footprint that i get from amouage fragrances that i am detecting in this so could be cut from the amouage but i absolutely like it okay so it is al Haramein janun rose this oh this is nice okay this is so nice the last one is going to be from the house of latafa it is the kingdom you asked for it we have it okay i am not quite uh impressed with how people have been rating this one or the comparisons around this one so i'm just going to cross my fingers that the reviews are maybe not as obvious as this how this has gone around as the kingdom has been uh, going around uh as smelling a little bit like la via bell all right i'm not saying it's gonna smell like la via bell this is why we have a first impressions here but i'm just saying i hope not because if so then why right so this is how it looks okay this is how it looks uh and i'm gonna take it out they did a his and hers when it came to the kingdom so if you're looking at purchasing fragrances for gifting you can get this the man's version of this all right so let's see let's see no, this does not smell like La Via Belle to my nose, but I can see how some people can dig through and find that La Via belle trail. It's not smelling like that to my nose. This is girly. This is sweet. This is a floral. This is going to be one that I have to pick through the ingredients to tell you what's doing what. But I do get a floral accord here. I do get a crispness. There could be fruits in here. Okay, and the fruits are like water-toned fruits, like either berries or uh, even lychee. I don't know, even uh, watermelon. Maybe it's getting uh, not so high to reviews or not so 100% positive reviews because it does have that familiarity to it. It does have like a crowd-pleasing, you know, type of footprint to it where if you're looking to purchase something that a woman will like this is probably going to be no brainer but it is fun all right it is also a fragrance that's probably going to light up in the heat because it's summer toned 
it also is giving me a vibe that it could potentially turn fresh later on as you wear it but so far i'm getting sweet crisp fruity floral that sort of thing maybe a tad bit of spice it could have pink pepper i don't know this is first impression so anyway guys these are some of the new additions to my collection the, the afnan mystic is in box all right so we did add confession to our collection we did add the kingdom to our collection hawa uh, by the house of zimaya is also added to our collection al haramein Janun rose i love that one we also have angham now for those who wanted to know my thoughts i'm going to bring a, a full review of this and of course we have opulent red and last but not least we have the uh afnan i just wish the other ones hadn't been compared to most of the dna's that have gone around uh the block uh for a while i would have actually said this is a line that i would want to add in its entirety this one was the one that i did not have this one was unique enough for me to add so we've got this one guys mystique boutique yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been your girl C Chronicles. Uh, remember to turn on post notifications, guys, on this channel. That way you get to be notified anytime I upload a video. Like and share this one. And remember that smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.